Simpler tubing comes pre-grooved. If tube is cut and a groove is needed, a manual grooving tool can be purchased. The tool contains a tool body, a crank handle, and depth gauge. When grooving tube, use pipe roll stands positioned approximately nine feet apart to ensure piping rolls smoothly during the grooving process. If the stops of the tool are not already set at the correct depth, it is best to set them against an existing piece of grooved pipe. Connect the tool to the pipe and tighten the brass wheel nut until it fits securely against the existing groove. Once the brass wheel nut is tightly secured, adjust the depth stops at the rear of the tool. The stops are rotated to gain the correct depth level. It is important once the correct depth has been found that the two stops are tightened against each other. Once the two stops have been tightened, the brass nut can be tightened until it fits securely against the tool body. When the correct depth has been set, the crank handle is attached to the tool body and turned in a clockwise direction. A one and one quarter inch deep well socket is placed on the wheel nut and the socket wrench is turned slowly to tighten the nut until the depth has been achieved. When the depth has been reached, the nut will no longer tighten. Use the groove gauge to check the groove depth and ensure the arrows line up within the appropriate tolerance marking. Using a power tool and a 1 and 5 16 inch standard socket in place of the crank handle allows the tube to turn faster as the socket wrench continues to apply the depth. A two-man crew can apply the drill and maneuver the socket wrench at the same time, which allows for even faster tube grooving. Please consult the Grooving Tool Manufacturer Guide for further information. When grooving is complete, to remove the tool from the tube, the brass wheel nut is loosened and the tool can be retracted. Thank you.